Do that again for us. You triggered every time speaking about it. Oh my god, whoa. Is that you? Yeah, it's like a shh, shh, shh. Yeah, that's what I heard. So I'm saying what the room was used for. Is it here the sentence in took place? What <laughs> people? Like I said, for the reason, shoot people. So guys, where, where are we at right now? We're in the Guild Hall. The Guild Hall. The Guild Hall, Bristol the Guild Hall. So you actually know a little bit of information about this place, don't you? A, a little bit. Yeah, it was like a society. What was it? A men's society. It was like a men's society. Yes. Wasn't it? Yeah. You had to be a man. You had to be English. You had to earn a certain amount of money. Christian. Something Christian as well. Yeah. Spooky man. It, it, it was like a sort of form of bank, I think, because when you were in a guild, it was like a, you had trade secrets, so you wouldn't give away your trade secrets, and you'd only work with other people who were in the guild. It's like a union, and if you needed to, they'd look after your money whilst you're doing a job, and they could transfer your money from place to place. So it was like early banks, and that's why they probably got the stuff in the basement. No way, crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. I'll tell you what. Rewind, rewind. Right. So guys, I'm actually with Sam and Jess right now, and secret vault. We all know. Secret we all, fault. Yeah, secret, <laughs> secret fault, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's something not quite right going on. <laughs> You're gonna have a Jolly Roger in tonight. <laughs> I'm one chromosome short, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you've not actually got YouTube channels or anything, have you? No, I've got Instagram. Right? Yeah, man, plug it. What's it? SJ. SJ Urban Exploration. They don't even know on their own branding what's going on. <laughs> 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 Guys, I'll leave a link in the description to catch their Instagram. So these these are actually pretty much known as the what is it, the, the Bristol Underground yes. gangsters <laughs> right now. <laughs> They're getting all the good tips, and I wouldn't have got in this place if it wasn't for them. So no, oh, fair days, doing work out here. No proper vaulted ceilings. Yeah. So I wonder what this part of the building was for this section. Yeah, I was going to say, because it does seem like an old old style bank. Yeah. I mean, what, what's this contraption going on there? Is this like some lift, I think this was. some makeshift, makeshift lift? They've got, I think, two or three lifts in the building, which for an old place would be quite, you know, like you've got a lot of money if you could do, afford to do that. Yeah, well, that goes down a long way, actually. Oh, yeah, man, it's like some horror film. Do you know where, uh, what is it? Leatherface, you've seen that picture when his face is just around the corner. <laughs> That's what it just reminds me of right now. Almost looks like they've had cells down here as well. They may have had cells. And it may be uh, that they, you know, jailed people down here because the git, am I correct in saying the city and guilds had something to do with courts and a lot of it kind of became the courts. That's right. The, the, the so, whole thing was actually the guild hall to start off with and then that became the courts. Yeah. So, so what kind of, obviously the guild hall, what kind of practices would have been taking place in the guild hall? Or is it hard to say? But mind you saying that, it, it, was, it was very secretive, wasn't it? They, you know, they're a bit like the Freemasons. It's like if you wanted to prove to somebody that you were a certain trade, you'd have secret words, secret signs, you know, so you could identify each other from the bullshit artists who were trying to take your trade away, you know, and say like, yeah, I could do carpentry, but they weren't carpenters. You know, they weren't guild carpenters. They weren't known for their good work. So they'd have secret signs and you know, it's kind of the Freemasons kind of took a lot of this from that, I think so. Yeah. But the guilds, you know, are kind of like it's a business organization, whereas Freemasonry is just like an occult side wing. Yeah. And this is about money, and I think to a certain degree, the Templars were a bit about money as well, because a lot yeah. of the Templars split off to become some of the big banks. No way, guys. If you know more information as well, do feel free to drop a comment in the uh, the comment box below. I want to know. Um, you know ab about the guilds. I want to know about Freemasons. Just drop me a comment right now. Right, guys are looking for leather faces down here somewhere. Oh, shit. This is pretty creepy. Oh, this is like a Whoa, this is a, this is like a, wow. a bonker, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's got sealed seals around the door, so it's not just. Uh... Oh, wow, no, it's a pro it's a proper blast door, isn't it? Or is it? Or is that like a, a vault door? It's more it's more of a vault door, isn't it? What does it say? 
Yeah, it's got the make on there from London. Maybe it's like a door that was there. Probably, but that's still pretty yeah. good. Though. Yeah, no, it is. There's more doors inside, so this is one of many doors like that. Right, so this is getting quite interesting. Obviously, we got like a, it's like a, well, it's a safe, that isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a safe and we've got another like huge door there. So obviously, I take it they've been storing like valuable stuff here then. Uh, yeah, probably money or documents, important documents to the guild, secret, you know, materials. But yeah, it looks like heavy bank vaults, to be honest. How's that? Is that inside the internals of the uh, safe door in it? So that's the actual internal for this. Yeah. The only thing I could think of is like, is like money or gold or something. Yeah. Like obviously if they're doing that for like trolleys and stuff like that. You said that they didn't use to use the bank, did they? They kind of just kept the money. Yeah, they, they might not have wanted to use the bank because um, if they keep it in their own funds, in, in like secret organisation, then they're not, you know, the banks have to tell government that, you know, you can keep stuff probably in the guild before regulations change. It's, it's like a private trust. You put, I'm trusting you with my money, but it's not a bank. It's like, we're all part of a membership organization, so I trust you, you give me a receipt, that's it. We don't tell anybody. No way. You know, maybe a way of avoiding taxes and yeah. all sorts, but yeah. Whoa. That's some pretty intense safe, aren't yeah. it? It might be to see if there's someone inside before you lock it, or oh, they might right. have to let you in. There might be somebody in there. Holy oh, shit. That's mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to uh, wow. get trapped in there. It's insane, that door, isn't it? It's a proper door, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's some serious weight to that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you it does look like a prison door, doesn't it? It's got the got the peep peephole there. It's a tiny little confined space. Yeah. Yo, what's above this? Oh, shit. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there's the, what? There's no floor underneath this. No. Is this just the roof? <laughs> Yo, I'm getting paranoid about this. Ka <laughs> 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 ka. <laughs> Yo, honestly, right, this is not the... Oh. You've got big pillars underneath, man, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. So there's lights on, but there seems to be nobody on. This is interesting, obviously we're in part of the uh, Crown Court now. So why would they have, like... Is this one of the courts? This would have been a chapel area, which was for people to uh, pray before being sentenced or for their relatives who were going into court. It's a prayer room, so. Guys, this is our big historic shoes. That was a prison room. Wait. It's huge. So it's interesting, it's courts 35 and 15. Yo, what's this secret stairs? It's a, it's a yeah. stairs, they would, they would literally, when they say take them down, they literally would take them down. Oh yeah, this is it. And psychological terror and torture, it looks like they make the, the, the stairs very thin as well so that it freaks people out, you know, like being taken down to the pit. No way, so obviously this is the courtroom right now, so yeah, this is it. So obviously the real saying, isn't it? Take him down. Mm. Or oh, the other one from Manchester is, you sending me under. <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually got to sell doors over here as well. Man, these are like original ornate doors. These are wooden ones, but there are metal ones. It's hybrid, so like this is a hybrid. It's got wood inside it, but it's metal on the outside. So we've got more cell doors. So there must be quite a lot of cells in this building then. But mind you, I suppose they would have had to, because obviously it's a big crown court. Do you think how many people were actually getting sentenced today? So, you know, prisoners would have been in and out, straight from here into the prison itself. Pretty scary to think about, you know. You know, you've done some corrupt stuff in your life and you sat in that room and wait, just waiting to be sentenced, but you don't know what the outcome's going to be. You're either going to get away with it, put on bail or whatever it may be. In most cases, you know, sent under. Pretty grim. Well, check this out. This is like a... This is a what? A padded... It's a padded door. How crazy is that? 
why would they have a padded door? Is that, is that just soundproofing or is that like a prison door of some kind? I don't know guys, leave me a comment, tell me what your thoughts are. Do you reckon that's some prison door or do you reckon it's just soundproofing? I don't know about that one. Quarter 11, now's my time. You're going to be the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> all caps are, all caps are <laughs> biatches as if someone's actually took the time to climb up there just to put a cab on the top man too much time with people's hands well wow, it's pretty impressive though the architecture in here it's proper old school you just never see courts like this this day and age you know courts these days are literally just like modern little rooms and stuff with judges in so you know Back in the day, can you imagine just being sentenced and you're just in a room like this, like em empowerment, it's imposing. So obviously that's the uh, the whole idea of it was to strike fear into obviously people to pretty much say, you know, you've, you've done wrong. But as you can see, this is like, you know, typical British architecture, it's finest. Oh. Jesus, man. Ah. <laughs> oh, great, it's gonna shit on me. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. What are they doing? They're flapping around my head. Bye, Matt. That is pretty grotty, isn't it? It's like a mog. Why, why is it tiled? It's proper vintage horribleness, isn't it? And the, the tiles are sort of black grout as well. Yeah, it's weird. It's mad to, mad to think like what, what kind of criminals have been in these cells right now. Mm -hmm. You know, like murderers, rapists, all I'm kinds of other criminals. Like suicide in these cells, isn't it? Mm. So that, you don't know. Yeah. Probably some of the most serious criminals in Bristol back in the day. Oh, like yeah. Them. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Also, Andy Shepard from... Warminster doing 43 years, or doing three years, sorry. That doesn't look like four yeah. and a three years. Uh, doing yeah. three years for robbery. So most of the cells are all these two things there. Yeah, so it's like going into it's proper Victorian dungeon style stuff now. Yeah, this is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the parts they were used just for shelter. So guys, we've literally been walking for absolutely hours through this building. I mean, this is like complete rabbit warrens of just different tunnels leading off from the left, right and centre. It's absolutely crazy in here. Um, but you can see it's like super, super old. This is like, I don't even know. What, what, what age would you say this is, Matt? These must have been Victorian tunnels. You know, some of them might have even started off as like medieval tunnels. Yeah. But they've been converted into Victorian. But, um, it's most recent incarnation. What would you say? What would you say is going on here then? I don't know. It's hard to say. It's almost like a, it's like old old cellars, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So guys, we're in these tunnels right now, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, underground in Bristol, and we're about to do some bit of investigating, get some spirit box going on, and some trusty REM pod stuff. Um, I don't know. These tunnels are a bit weird. It's like. Would you say it's like World War II era for like air raid shelters or? Yeah, yeah, air raid shelters, yeah. So, you know, maybe even before then, you know, people would come down there and, and died. Uh, maybe people living down there, who knows? I mean, you said it was about, reckon it's Victorian times, if not before. They, they used to live in tunnels in Glasgow, London, Bristol. So, you know, medieval times, they would have dug occasional tunnels, but the Victorians then just spread them right out. And it used to be that you could actually get um, things delivered underground, so you wouldn't have to go across the surface, you'd just take things underground, people lived underground, fed. It's insane. Mm -hmm. So, right, where should I, I should put a red pot down and see if we can interrupt mm -hmm. this, but where should I put it, Jackson? I don't know, it's just weird, I've got, I've got this yeah, feeling it's, it's over there. there. Are you thinking that as yeah, well? Yeah, that's what I pointed. Yeah, maybe I'll just like put the red pot down over it somewhere. Somewhere in the distance. Bye guys! <laughs> right, I'm gonna put the brown pot just there. Cool. So I just wanna point out as well, this is like only a little tiny fraction of the tunnels. We've actually got prison cells, not 
Reynolds one of them. Did you wear the brooklyn? Yeah, I hate you. Yeah. That's weird. Well, yeah, I was just saying, this is literally just a fraction of this, the tunnel network itself. Literally around the corner, we've got the prison cells, what we just showed earlier, which is pretty much housed, you know, Bristol's roughest people. So maybe there's some kind of like residual energy still trapped in, you know, around these tunnels and stuff like that, people's like traumatic deaths or, you know, like people getting sentenced thinking, you know, this is, this is it now, kind of thing. So, I don't know, how far does the, the prison cells date back to, do you think? I'm not sure, mate. Because I wonder if people... What was that you then? What? <sighs> Did anyone just hear that? No, I think the temperature's dropped a bit. It feels yeah, like a little bit cold. Yeah. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, you know, whether this building does... Oh my god, whoa. So it's weird, it's like, it keeps triggering every time I'm speaking about it. Can you do that again for us? death kind of thing, who knows, I don't know, I don't know the 100% uh, history on this place itself and you know how far it is back to, but obviously the ground we're in now is super, super old. And it's funny how we were just like, just said about, you know, just put the red pot on the both, yeah, it's it it put it there, and it's just been going off, yeah. like it's pretty, pretty weird. So maybe it's like reacting to mm. speaking or whatever. So, do you, do you live down here? Is, it, is this your home? If so, try and go towards the device you just touched. It's not going to harm you in any way. I find it pretty crazy. I would just literally just set up and just like weird that. Whoa! Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah. What was that? Just like a creak or a click. No, there's not. No, it's like a, an like echo. A, like a, Because every time we seem to be doing this stuff, it's like when we're talking, things seem to happen. Yeah. As if it's like, I don't know, it's like some kind of like energy build up and then they're just using it off the off chance kind of thing. So, like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm like here, do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know, it's pretty strange. Um, but it went off twice as we were talking about obviously the history of this place. I wonder if it's worth doing this thing because obviously, you know, we've been told we've got this spirit guy called John who's the gatekeeper. Yeah. We've actually done this before. I wonder if it's worth asking John. Uh, you know, is John a spirit guide or is it gay? I don't, I don't understand, but I think we should ask, ask for John to say, listen, let any spirits to come in yeah. and communicate with us, because maybe preventing stuff from happening, who knows, to try to keep us safe. Yeah, I don't know. But for you guys who are watching right now, basically we got told John is the gatekeeper and he's a spirit, spiritual attachment. That's actually latched onto us from another location. He's not a relative. Yeah, we don't know like, him. He's just some random spirit that's, that's attached onto him. We've, we've, we've had John come to the spirit box multiple times. So I don't know. So John, if if you are here with us now, I, I want you to let any other potential spirits that may be here now to come and communicate with us with the device I have in my hand. <clears throat> and the device on the floor that's just been set off a minute ago. So if you can do that. Well, is there anyone here who wants to speak with us? If there's anyone here now, try and come through this device in my hands to speak with us. Or if you can't do that, try and set the device up on the floor again with the blue lights on before you just sat a minute ago. It's not going to harm you in any way. Sorry, there's someone breaking through there, man. But try and build the energy from all of us now and forward. I don't know how, why that just happened, it's just like, you know, as soon as, as soon as you start talking, it just like goes off. Weird. How would you explain that going off though? I don't know. Because it's pretty interesting, it was like, as if it was like almost drawn to that section, it was like, you know, I just put your pot around pot. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? What do you guys make of that? <laughs> really strange, yeah. Pretty random, man. So, I mean, the only thing I think of is like, you know, random, spontaneous energy that's moving through. Or it is generally someone here. Who knows? I don't know. Pretty interesting now. Your battery's gone down really quick though. Oh, the battery's going down as well? Yeah, really quick. 
say, you know, is that to do with the temperature in here? But saying that, it's not really that freezing, though, is it? It's, it's, it's quite, no, it's not quite too warm. bad. Yeah, well, I think I think just trying to try the cells in. As you can see, we've got our convict uh, locked away in this cell right now. So goodbye. Is <laughs> 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 that you? What? What are you saying? Yeah, it's like a. Yeah, that's what I heard. Did you hear that oh, as well? I didn't hear yeah. it. Yeah, I heard it. You know, you know, it's like as if someone's going shh, mm. but it was like a shh, shh, shh. Yeah, it's like a double. The sound was just there then, it was pretty like as if as it was right there going shh, shh, shh. As if someone was just saying shh, shh, shh. Is that someone's stomach? Someone's stomach. It wasn't my stomach. No, it Did you hear that one? No, it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine either. Yeah, it was like, it was like a... <laughs> yeah. So is that you we can hear in then? If so, make another sound for us. If that is you. I'm going to move that over. Okay. Right, I think we should turn on the spirit box see what happens. Might look pretty cosy in that cell to be fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was born to be in here. Get out, mate. Your name is actually on the wall. Yeah, Matthews. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, let's do another spirit box, see what we get. If there's anything in the room. Is there anyone here with us now? If there is, try and make yourself known to us if you can. Maybe you can try and bang on something. We're well, usually get stuff by now, aren't we? Mm. Nothing. But I find that even more interesting. Eh? I find it even more interesting then when we don't get anything. It makes me think about the other stuff that we've, you know, where we've been and stuff has come through. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. So if you can't speak with us through this device, there's a thing on the floor. You try to go towards this. Try and touch that down. Try and touch that. Oh, we'll talk to you. Thank you much for that, was there? Mm. Interesting. Conspicuous in its absence. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird because I don't something like feel anything as such a... No, I don't. It feels kind of like relaxed and stuff. Yeah. Considering, obviously... I think it's a bit important though to like show that on the video that nothing's come from the spirit box only because the stuff we've had in the past it makes me believe it more then does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of different rooms in here. What about the court? You can try the court room. The yeah, we could try the court <laughs> Looks like Matt's got a wig on and this business hat. Yeah. <laughs> look look at the thing yeah. oh, just from here. <laughs> I need any hair I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so guys, we're actually going to move from this part of the building now because it just seems to be really, I don't know, anything striking, you know, as if like feelings or anything like that. Pretty interesting, the REM pod went off down in the other part of the tunnels, but, you know, no more acti like, further activity from this part. Considering the location as well, you've got the cells, you know, it's pretty dark air, uh, history and potential residual energy that's on the walls. And, yeah, and obviously the, the, the building itself, you know, how old it is and the creep factor and stuff but yeah I don't know. I'm gonna try a different room now and see what happens. Hopefully we'll get something. Yeah, we'll 
duplicates. They've been painted differently. I love how face recognition comes on the camera. So what do you reckon this room is used for now? Well, I think because of the statues, that it's got to be something to do with uh, the, the judges that have been in here. It might be to do with, like, patron saints, because they look like they're more priestly than anything else. But then you definitely do have, so you've got um, ropes on the neck there, so that's gentry, priest and possibly law because of the wigs and the red. And po you know poss mean? possibly coronavirus as well. Yeah. It seems like it's wearing a, some kind of mask or something. So I think this is probably a meeting room where they would they basically it's big enough big enough themselves, isn't it? Like maybe food, you have food and you have the, the sort of like looking down from the, the people who've been here before. It's just a guess. You know, it might be Yes. Yeah. I think we should just fire up the spirit box and just see if we do get any, uh, get any answers to so the Yeah, this is, this is called a private room, I think. This would be for the public. So maybe some like me and secretive dark stuff is going to take place in the rooms. Not f***ing pedophiles, I don't know. Cops. Well, let's see what I think. Does anyone want to talk with us? Does anyone tell me what this room is used for? What did I just say that? It's for judging. Judge, I'm sure it was like for judging. Yeah. I swear it's for judging. Come on, can I ask some questions? Has anyone ever had me about the sentence they got? Tell us about the sentence you had. Was you sentenced here then? <laughs> what, was that, was that she, she was, was right. She was right. Mm. She was right. She right. was right about what? Attendant. Att was that was that attendant? Or was that pretending? Are, are you who did the, the sentencing? Was she one of the judges? Oh, yeah, that just said for a reason, shoot people. Huh? That just said for, for, the, for the reason, shoot people. Oh, That's pretty weird. Mm -hmm. For the reason, shoot people. So, so you sent it to someone for shooting people. Is that right? Asylum, this word. What did that say? It's something asylum. I said no, I thought it was just said asylum, then it said another word, but I don't know yeah, what that word was. Yeah, that's what I thought it said asylum, something over. Mm. That's good, isn't it? Did they say, did they say you look crazy? Section. Section. Mm. I thought it was insane. Did you, did you just say it back then? No, I didn't hear it. So do you think, do you think, do you think, what did you say? Do you think you were insane? Did you think you were crazy? Yeah, crazy, and it, is, and it says something about section, and it, it said uh, insane. So, you, would you sentence because we thought it was insane then, and you caused pain to others? But now you're trying to speak to us because we're going to go soon. This is your opportunity to come talk to us. That's really weird, isn't it? It's just like getting nothing now. I'll turn, I'll turn it up a second. Well, thanks for trying. Yeah, so that, that's pretty interesting. Obviously, you know, we're just, we're just asking questions out. It just said something about, you know, as if it was the judges or whatever. And then, as soon as you said 
about, about the asylum and things like that. It was, well, as soon as he said asylum, and then he was asking the question, it was coming off as if like someone was sentenced for shooting someone, they were sent to an asylum or something. And after that, it just like kind of died off as if like, you know, they got the word out, they just wanted to say their piece. Yeah, it's it kind seemed, of like died, died off. It seemed to sort of kick off when I said, did they say you were crazy? Yeah. yeah. And then it was like asylum, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Weird, that, isn't it? Mm. So did, it's like, it's not daft this, because sometimes, you know, like before we put the REM pod down, it's like feeling the need to put it down there as if like there's something there. So, you know, when you was asking those questions, you feel like, you know, that's, that was a relevant thing to say, that kind of thing. It just popped into my head, you know, if, if somebody's shot somebody, it's either because they're very angry or they might be not, not very sane. No. Yeah. You know, it, certainly that would come into question, somebody's sanity, if you, if you shot somebody. So, yeah. yeah it's, well, didn't you ask that before? It said sh uh, section for shooting someone. Section came up as well, yeah. Mm. I'd be interested to listen back to it because it's hard sometimes when you, you listen, you're like, what was that? Especially yeah. with an that? echo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You listen to it a few times, you might sort of pick it up. Yeah. So it's one for the replay, I think. This. Yeah, definitely. So this was, it's, it's obviously for you guys watching on the video now, you don't want to listen to this live. Sometimes it is hard to listen to it on the spot. We can only kind of figure out, you know, in our heads what, what it did say. But the good thing about it is when you go through edits and you slow it all down and listen to pronunciations and it does say what you thought it said, that's what kind of clarifies for me is like, you know, bang on evidence pretty much, I mean, so, and I think what we've got in here tonight is, is pretty much relevant to the actual building itself, which is quite interesting. Um, I don't know, interesting place. It's been really cool, um, but the feelings wise, not really like much, but yeah, again, it could be one of those cases, you have to keep coming back somewhere to <laughs> yeah. go into it a bit more, you know. Right, so we've come into the courtroom now, um, see we've got the original features and stuff like that, so we're going to go straight for the spirit box and just see what other, other stuff we can get from here. But well, basically where I'm stuck right now is basically another stairway down into the prison section where obviously people would be held, held before going to the main jail kind of thing. We've got any people that were sentenced here. For murder. What, what was that? Some the first, for, the first for part. Yeah. I thought it said for murder. Yeah, for murder. I'm not sure what the second part. Yeah, was. I don't know what the second lot of words were. I don't yeah. know what that bit. It sounded that the first lot was like for murder. Yeah. So you was done for murder then? How do you how do you feel about that? Are you happy that you killed someone? You feel pretty smug about it. Any last words before you get sent down? Go on. Go on. Oh, fuck you, then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> fuck you, you just said fuck you. Did it? Did you just hear that then? No. I, I was just like, right, well, fuck you then. It's like, fuck you. I don't know, fuck you. So it's like, it's like, it's, it seems to be like picking up and going somewhere, doesn't it? And it's just almost like it kind of like drops off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All different voices, yeah. I mean, it definitely sounded like we was onto something, you know, with the whole murder thing. Right, so guys, that's the end of the video right now. It's been quite interesting. Not so much a super like paranormal active place in the world, but quite some interesting stuff on the spirit box itself. You know, someone saying they've been murdered and shot someone, and you know, they were sent to the asylum and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty interesting, but is it 100% signif significant as such? Don't know, it's hard to say, but guys, please leave me a comment right now. Tell me what your thoughts are on this video. Also, let's big up a uh, massive shout to Matt as well, Secret Vault, links in the description. Also, check out Sam and Jess on Instagram, check their pictures out. But that is it from here. Check the links in the description. That is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.